FMSO News Sports, I'm Tim Kearns, and this is The Coach's File, brought to you by the Glory Food Store, 268 Rantoul Street in Beverly. And joining me now is the Dean of All Athletics at Beverly High School, new athletic director, Ryan Wood. Ryan, welcome to MSO Sports. Awesome, thank you for having me. Uh, first year here, can uh, we look at your background? Yeah, so I, you know, my tenure at Beverly High School, prior to me taking over as the athletic director, I was an assistant principal here at the high school for about three years. Um, and then, you know, Dan Keefe uh, was going to be retiring mid-year. I had applied, thought that was a, a, a great opportunity for me that I didn't want to pass up. Um, prior to my time here, uh, I worked over at uh, Neshoba Valley Technical High School in Westford, where I was the assistant principal and I was also uh, oversaw all the athletics um, for that particular district, so a lot of variety in that particular position. And then, um, you know, prior to that, I was a classroom teacher. I was an English teacher for about 10 years over at Malden Catholic, and I had coached for over 20 years, uh, primarily uh, in ice hockey. Uh, so athletics has always been a part of my, my background and my passion. So um, this was kind of a, a prime opportunity that, you know, I was able to uh, really see through. So. And certainly you had, you had the advantage of coming in, uh, not from the cold so much, but your experience at Neshoba was uh, having worked in athletics, you knew the, the basics of what you were going to be facing. Yeah, and, um, you know, I think in my prior role at Neshoba, I, you know, there was, you know, um, a lot of transition in regards to, um, you know, how my day-to-day -day went. Uh, that was very different than where I'm here. I'm my primary focus is all on athletics, so um, you know that was a, a real challenge, but also gave me some real hands-on experience to you know really find a plan on knowing how to multitask. So. Yeah, so we were just discussing before we started the interview my own experience down in Maryland, where I was teaching four classes a day, and I was also the athletic director. So it uh, made for long, crazy days for sure, and certainly just being solely the athletic director makes much more sense because you're constantly on the phone, constantly meeting, constantly putting out fires, shall we say, uh, and you need that time of the day to deal with all that effectively. Yeah, and, um, you know, it's it's a lot of communication, I think, back and forth, whether it be with, um, you know, with, with parents, with um, other teachers, other athletic directors, uh, officials, it, it, it really, uh, there's a considerable sense of uh, variety in regards to planning an organization that, you know, I think is essential for this position. And being in the building here for the past three years gave you a sense of the, the Beverly athletic community. Yeah, and, and I think, you know, it also, you know, I got to know a lot of, you know, kids and major stakeholders in regards to uh, Beverly. And it, it also kind of gave me a gauge on what kids really, you know, were looking for out of um, our athletic program. So uh, I think that kind of gave me a leg up and in this particular situation. Yeah, certainly being just in the classroom where, and even as an administrator, the kids uh, sometimes feel freer to voice their opinions to that outside person rather than a coach or the athletic director where there might be that slight intimidation where I, I don't want to say anything because I don't want to get myself in trouble. Yeah, and, and I think, you know, just in my prior role, I always wanted to make, make students be able to access me appropriately and uh, and and they have and I think it's a, a, a great approach in regards to you know making sure that they're heard and making sure that you know if there are things that are bubbling up or a priority of something that might not maybe be on my radar I, I, I think that's you know a, a healthy you know sense of communication with them mm -hmm. okay uh I just had a great question and suddenly just left <laughs> left my mind. Uh, boy, the disadvantages of old age. Uh, what is your philosophy regarding athletic, being an athletic director? I think my philosophy, and you know, I think not to be cliche, but you know, uh, the idea of student athletes and why you know student precedes the word athlete and you know, making sure that they are, you know, students first and then athletics is, you know, what they're doing on the side. But I also think, you know, in the long run, you know, I did a lot of work um, in the vocational technical side um, and making sure that kids are, you know, ready to be, you know, viable employees. And, 
you know, with athletics, I feel like all those components that, you know, these companies that are looking for ideal ca uh, candidates as employees are all things that athletics are already telling you to do and prioritize, you know, if it's time management, um, uh, conflict resolution, you know, all those aspects that you're already doing in athletics uh, that your coaches are instilling in you and that you're being forced into those particular situations, um, I think is really key. So I think in athletics, it in a way, it'll, it'll, it's going to give our kids um, a leg up in, you know, whatever their future endeavors may be. Great. Okay. Um, I'm going I'm to break it here, and uh, we're going to come back, and we're going to talk about the new stands and lights on the, on the turf field and how that will affect Beverly Athletics going forward. Yeah, great. Great.